Welcome to Reading the Bible with Pastor. Today, we're on Exodus chapter 23, starting at verse 10. The laws that we're about to read are about the Sabbath and festivals. Now, the Sabbath is the seventh day which they are to keep holy, as it, we read in Exodus chapter 20. And this is verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall do no, not do any work, you or your son or your daughter, your male servant or your female servant, or your livestock, or the sojourner who is within your gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. The Sabbath day is a day for them to remember God's word, uh, honor, honor it, uh, cherish it, and keep it. And uh, they, they will do that with their sacrifices as well as the end of the week and during the festivals that God has appointed for them. For six years you shall, you shall sow your land and gather in its yield. But the seventh year you shall let it rest and lie fallow, that the poor of your people may eat, and what they leave the beasts of the field may eat. You shall do likewise with your vineyard and with your olive orchard. And we see here that there is always a, a theme that runs through the Bible is taking care of those less fortunate. And here, God implements a rule, a law, that on the seventh year, the field is left fallow and the poor can gather from the fields. Six days you shall do your work, but on the seventh day you shall rest, that your ox and your donkey may have rest, and the son of your servant woman and the alien may be refreshed. Pay attention to all that I have said to you, and make no mention of the names of other gods, nor let it be heard on your lips. Three times in the year you shall keep a feast for, to me. You shall keep the feast of unleavened bread, as I commanded you. You shall eat unleavened bread for seven days at the appointed time in the month of Abib, for in it you, sh you came out of Egypt. None shall appear before me empty-handed. You shall keep the feast of harvest, of the first fruits of your labor, of what you sow in the field. You shall keep the feast of ingathering at the end of the year, when you gather in from the field the fruit of your labor. Three times in the year shall all your males appear before the Lord your God. So these are festivals that the Lord has put in place so that they remember who gives them all that they have and uh, to give thanks to God. You shall not offer the blood of my sacrifice with anything leavened, or let the fat of my feast remain until the morning. The best of the first fruits of the ground you shall bring into the house of the Lord your God. You shall not boil a young goat in its mother's milk. That last command kind of seems a little bit out of sorts, but uh, remember the Lord has a theme that runs through here about taking care of those less fortunate. And we see here kind of uh, along those lines, this kind of abomination of boiling a uh, young goat in its mother's milk points to the fact there should be ta um, some care taken to all things and to respect what the Lord has given and what fruits uh, come from their labors. We'll pick up next time with Exodus chapter 23, starting at verse 20. As always, please subscribe to the channel and share this with others so that they may also read the Bible with Pastor.